Hi students, I just want to give you a quick tutorial on how we're going to do today's assignment. It's a little bit different. I had to link to Google Drive because uh, Google, I don't know what it's, slides or docs, um, you can actually do more editing in the Google Doc than you can in Microsoft. So I had to make a Google Doc of our assignment so that you could edit some of the text on there. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through quick what it's going to look like. So what you're doing today is you are making a food chain. So I'm just going to just show you the document really quick of some animals that live in the Pacific Northwest where kelp and otters, right, and all these animals are. So this is what the document looks like. Um, but down here is where you really got to do some editing. So if we look here, it says, you will identify producers and consumers in the marine ecosystem of the Pacific Northwest. Using a set of Pacific Northwest cars, you will first design a food chain with sea otter and kelp, and then create an energy pyramid using this food chain. Secondly, you will expand food chain to food web based on your research of a specific location of the Pacific Northwest. Finally, revise the energy pyramid based on the food pyramid. So you're going to receive a set of cars that depict some common animals and plant types from the Pacific Northwest ecosystem. Use the cars to build models and answer questions as directed on this worksheet. After building a food chain or food web with the cards, record your version by writing the organism's name in the appropriate spaces on the worksheet and connecting them with arrows. So you can find your species card on your team page here. Oops, I didn't send it. Here we go. Okay, so if you click in here, these are all of your animals. So we see sea otter, sea lion. It goes through uh, what they are, their size, their habitat, what they eat, right, is really important, and who eats them. Remember, you're making a food chain. So you're going to pick four animals. One producer, obviously kelp, right, is a producer that we've been looking at, but there's other ones too. There's plankton. Um, and then three consumers, and you're going to make a food web. So to make the food web, you're going to go back out to the page and click on this link here, this Google Drive link, and it's going to open up in Google Drive. So you're going to open with, right, Google Docs. First thing you're going to do, though, is you have to make a copy for yourself. This is the master copy. Um, if everybody edits it, you're going to drive each other crazy because everybody's going to be editing it. So you have to go over here to File, Make a Copy, and then Save it. I would put your name on it. So if this was mine, I would just do Roach on there. Okay. And it'll save it as a new document um, in your Google Drive. So once you get in here, you can edit it. So if you need to, you can go back to your teams and open up your species cards. After it loads. All right, pick your four animals that you want to do. Look at who eats who. And then back in your copy, you're going to actually do your food chain. So remember, you these are all, just double click on them and you can edit them. So whatever, kelp. Oh, you can make arrows in here. Um, otter, even though otters do not eat kelp, do not do that. I'm just giving an example. And then save and close. So you can put your food chain there. On the side here, you're doing the numbers. So if you have 3,500,000 kilocalories down here, the next one up, right? What does that look like? So you put in the number. You know, three, I'm getting 300, which is incorrect, but I'm just giving you an example, right? So that'll save there. And then here, you're going to take your animals that are up here and you're going to put them on your trophic pyramid. So the only tricky thing is here, you kind of got to scooch the pyramid out of the way. Type in your animals. So if you chose, well, I'll pretend it's a, ah, um, I can make a new text box if I want. Here, I'll put trees, even though, again, trees are not in the Pacific Northwest. Trees. All right, otter. And then when you're done, you just have to scooch the triangle back over. And it's fine. It can be kind of messy looking. Don't worry about making it perfect as long as the information is there. 
And then down here, you're going to answer the question. And one or two complete sentences describe how the available energy in the marine ecosystem of the Pacific Northwest could be different than that of the African savanna. So you're just looking at how energy in a marine system is different. Is there more? Is there less? You know, does one appear to have more resources than the other, et cetera? Kind of compare your marine ecosystem with the African system that we did last unit. So when you're done that, you stop. That's all you have to do this day, okay? Um, when you're done, it'll automatically save. You're going to just share it with me, okay? Just send it right back to Mrs. Roach. You don't have to upload it to Teams. I understand. Actually, you know what? You can add Mrs. Roach. Um, you could do Mr. Coca and Miss Rodriguez, okay? And then send it to all three of us. Send, boom, okay, um, and then that instead of submitting it through Teams, again, because we have to use the editing features in Google Docs that Team does not support, okay, and that's all you're doing, just stop, don't go worry about this next part, I think that's going to look a little bit different, um, because editing it was a little bit tricky, so just do that part one today, okay, all right, see you guys later.